Children and adults alike can now explore the science of gases at a brand new exhibit at the Children's Museum of Houston. Mr. O himself, Keith Ostfeld, explains more. Got gas is all about how we utilize gases, not gasoline, but gases in terms of air, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and their movement, how they flow, and all their properties. How do we make that allow us to do work? We'll learn everything from how do we produce our own gases, a little biology in there with a little fun, all the way to how do we make things fly, how do we make things float, and what happens to us when air starts to move and when gases start to move. And even we explore the chemical properties of air. How do I identify gases when we can't see the gases? We got all kinds of facts. We've got biology, chemistry, and physics all in action. So from biology perspective, it's how do our bodies turn food into gas, because we all create gas. We create quite a bit of gas. The average person has gas about 14 to 21 times a day, so no more faking it, people. We know it. Chemistry-wise, we're actually taking a look at the composition of gases, what makes up different gases, what are the molecules that we see, and how do we identify them using spectroscopy? And then we even get into the physics of gases, the movement of gases, so Bernoulli's principle, air pressure, flow of gases, uh, static gases, all that comes into play. Well, it's very easy because we just make it hands-on. We make it applicable. In other words, we allow kids to explore these phenomenon in a way that sometimes is counterintuitive, the way they wouldn't expect things to happen. So if I turn a crank, how often do I expect for that to create a blast of air? What does it take for that blast of air to occur? And then how can I experiment with that? Can it lift one ball, two balls, three balls, a dozen balls? How many is too many? And what happens to that force of air the more balls I add to it? So it allows them to explore these questions that just come up every day and are just a part of the everyday life of kids. It's how they naturally construct their knowledge. And it's what we truly want them to be able to do here. The importance of this, of what we do here, is that we provide a way for kids to get to explore what they're interested in on their timetable. So what we try to encourage with every family that comes through here is to take your time, let your kids guide you, let them and let their interest be what keeps you inside the museum. So if they want to spend 20 minutes at a single component and 30 seconds at another, so be it. But talk to them. Ask them questions about what they're observing. Communicate with them. It provides a wonderful opportunity for families to gather together around these ideas, help to construct knowledge, and most importantly, to develop skills that they can utilize throughout their lives, throughout their learning, throughout everything else. We often don't get the chance to see our kids while they learn in school. So this is our chance. And again, I'm speaking as a parent of myself, that when I bring my kids here, it's my chance to work with my kids to talk to them about what they're learning, what they're seeing inside the museum and help to connect all their learning together and see how it all kind of gels into one single coherent piece. This exhibit will be here for about a year. It'll be here until January 2015. Definitely, you need to come out and enjoy our Got Gas exhibit. It's only gonna be around for a year. That seems like a long time, but it's gonna be gone before you know it. And we'll have a whole new exhibit though for you to come and try out and enjoy. For more information on the Children's Museum of Houston and what they have to offer your family, point your browsers to www.cmhouston.org. For day trips, I'm Carrie Gordon.